It is Friday and I'm gonna cook a pasta dinner because that is my favorite thing. Um, yeah, <laughs> so I will put a timestamp down below, just like always, if you are only here for the nail part. I will also have the recipe linked down below. Um, I typed them all up, so it should be really easy to link them for you. And yeah, let's get into dinner because it's 8.30 and all I've had today is egg bites from Starbucks. For today's dinner, I'm gonna make a roasted red pepper rigatoni. I use the rigatoni from Trader Joe's. This is the garlic that we use. The fresh garlic by us has not been great, so I just get the little jar. One cup of heavy cream. And these are the roasted peppers that we use. They're a lot easier because they're already put into a jar and like kind of cut up. And they have a little flavor since they're roasted. You'll also need a third of a cup of Parmesan cheese. Half of a yellow onion. And then four ounces of cream cheese and we'll dice that up here in a little bit. First thing you want to do is start your pasta water and get that going with a good amount of salt in it and you'll have the pasta cooking while you make this sauce. But you're going to chop up your onion and it doesn't have to be super fine. Most recipes will tell you to put the garlic and onion in at the same time, but I don't like to do that because garlic burns easier than onion, so I let my onions cook just a little bit before I add the garlic, and then I get that all mixed in. And again, while that's cooking, you can see I just have the pasta water back there. Next, you're going to add all of your dairy, so you'll add the cream, um, parmesan cheese, and then you'll add that cubed up cream cheese. And just take the cream cheese out when you start everything so it can soften a little bit. And then, like I said, cut it into these little cubes so that it will melt a little faster in the sauce. And then I just seasoned this recipe with a little bit of salt and pepper. We're going to add red pepper flake to it at the end as a topping. So I just do salt and pepper in this and I think it's pretty good. You're going to let your sauce kind of bubble up and let all of those cheeses melt. And then you're going to take your drained red peppers and dump those in. If you leave the juice from the jar and the peppers, the sauce will get kind of thin and runny and it just won't be as good. So you want to take some of the moisture that is in that jar out of the peppers. And you're just going to leave these in here for another couple minutes to heat the peppers through. And then we're going to put everything into a blender. So this pan is super heavy and usually the boyfriend helps me with this, but he is not at home when I'm doing this. So I am just dumping all of this in as best I can into the blender. I, yeah, I'll give myself like a C plus for attempting to keep things clean and we'll just wipe everything down when we're done. It's fine. You will want to go ahead and scrape all of the stuff out. Make sure you get all the big chunks of onion and pepper because we're going to put the sauce right back into this pot after we blend it. I'm going to quickly clean up my mess. The boyfriend had just cleaned the kitchen before he left this day, so I want to make sure that I'm not completely just ruining it right after he cleaned. And then I'm just blending this until everything is pretty, like, fine and sauce consistency and then we will dump this back into the pan to like keep on low until we're going to add the pasta your pasta should be pretty much done at this point and just make sure you get everything out of the blender because that's the good part then you can add in your pasta. This definitely made enough for two adults and like a kid or two adults and maybe um a container of leftovers so we had leftovers for the next day and it was really nice once again cleaning out my mess we did it dinner is ready just gonna do a couple last minute little touches parmesan cheese and then i like a little spice i'm gonna do some red pepper flakes and i'm gonna eat and then go do my nails and i forgot sir I forgot to say I'm actually gonna be doing my toes this time around because I really need a pedicure and I don't like doing my nails like 
when I'm about to do a pedicure because then they just get messed up. So I'm actually gonna do a pedicure for this nail it with me. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. The recipe will be linked down below and let's get into nails. Also, I forgot to mention, typically I would do like a white wine with this and if the boyfriend was here, he would add chicken, but I could care less really about the chicken. I'm in it for the pasta. But tonight I'm having one of these Joja Spirit Greyhound drinks. I absolutely love these. They're a touch expensive. I talked about them in my studio vlog on my other channel. Um, they're a little expensive, but they're really good for a home drink. Mm. I love them. Um, and then it also helps to have a fur baby to keep you company. Do you, baby? Oh. So, yeah, I want to eat dinner now. Hello. It's the next morning. Who knew that that was going to happen? Um, I did because typically if I eat after work on Friday, I'm like, it's Friday, I'm done, I got a full belly and I'm over it. But we are going to be doing a pedicure, like I said, so this is my current toe state. The little socks that I'm wearing are actually yoga socks from like TJ Maxx. I got a two pack, I think for $7, but I just like them because they keep my feet warm, but I can still do my pedicure. On my toes right now is China Glaze Mustard the Courage. It's been on for a few weeks, um, and I just really need a, a change because my toes look funky. So, I'm going to do some maintenance. Pretty much the maintenance that I do on my toes is the same as my hands. Like, I'll take off the polish, file. I will use cuticle remover again on my toes because I really feel like it helps get all this gunk and then helps me... Um, uh, helps the polish stay on. So I'm just going to kind of speed through some of the maintenance. When I file, sometimes I try to like shape them, but normally in the winter, I just kind of file them down as much as they'll go, get the edges all like rounded so they're not super sharp and jagged. In the summer, I'll try to like square them off, especially my big toe, I'll kind of like shape it similar to my nails, I guess. But it depends on the mood that I'm in because I hate doing my pedicures. <laughs> like, I hate them. All right, we are all prepped and ready. I just filed and did all of those things. These are my toe separators. I cut mine because I didn't really need one um, right here. And it kind of, like, hurts my toes. <laughs> So I try to just put them on and like get it over with. But yeah, I am going to be using my Tear Beauty base coat that I've been using recently. This was a PR item. And then this is the Olive and June new pink color from their like spring collection. This is Pink Sands. I haven't done anything with this. Literally, I just got it yesterday and it looks cute. So I'm going to put it on my toes also a PR item and then I'm going to use my wet and wild hard as ice top coat this is my favorite top coat obviously I do a base color and top coat for my pedicures too it's just 
I mean, it makes them last longer. It's just like your fingernails. If you want your manicure to kind of last a little bit longer, um, go ahead and do all the same steps. So obviously with this video, you can tell I do still do my toes in the winter. Um, I like, I mean, I see my feet, so I like for them to be painted. I know some people don't. They're like, I need my toes to breathe, but your nails are dead. They don't need to breathe. So that is all your preference, but I like to have my toes painted almost all the time. I don't really know when a time was that they haven't been painted. I'm hoping the formula on this one is pretty good. Obviously, like I said, I haven't even messed with it. And sometimes these like lighter pink colors can be a little tricky, but let's see. And this is why I don't like to have my nails painted before I do my toes because it's just easier to get in there and clean stuff up or um, like just to not mess them up if you're filing or something like that. I know Olive and June came out with this like pedicure system thing and it came with this little foot stand which I would kind of really be interested in. Might have to look into that a little bit more because it does look really <laughs> nice. Like right now where my foot is sitting up, you would just put it underneath your foot. So that could be, could be nice to have. There it is on two coats. Um, I did everything on my nails. It's going to be three coats because my toe, my big toe is going to be three coats for a pedicure. And that's pretty typical. So if these are three coats, then usually it's three coats on my nails, if that makes sense. I'm not going to do another coat on my little toes just because I don't want to. But hopefully you can see like there's some patches in my big toe. There's also a hair in that one, but I'm not going to deal with it. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to wait for these to dry just a touch before I do a third coat. I usually wait a little bit more in between my second and third coat just because typically it needs a little bit more dry time than the first coat. So I'm just going to wait a little bit and then I will do another coat. But I'm loving this color. It's a really light, light pink. Hopefully it's showing up. I might have to do some editing, but it's very, very light. But it definitely is pink and I'm kind of loving it. I forgot to hit record so I already put top coat on these little toes. And I need to top coat these two but it definitely looks a lot better with that third coat. I really like this color. I think it's really cute. I've been looking for a lighter pink like this that's not an Essie. I will have to compare this to some of my Essies. I'm going to try so hard to do a comparison like collection video something I don't know I'm gonna try really hard to do comparison stuff 
soon with all the polishes that I have because I know that everyone really likes those. So I'm going to attempt to organize that at some point. So here is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really just needed to do a pedicure, so I figured I would film this instead of doing a regular manicure. I do really like this color, especially for my toes. I think it's cute and light for spring. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.